Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio, making sure I can focus on that. I have a plan that includes a 20 by 24 inch prime gold canvas, more or less well primed. I mean, it's got lots of coats, but I think I changed my gold. These are my brand new leggings, which I am really happy about, and there's no paint on because this is my first painting of the day. So these are really cool. Yes, they're XL, but they have wonderful weight to them and lots of great colors and you can find them on the teespring link below the video there's all kinds there's shirts to match them to all over designs anyway i thought i would show you guys those and then i thought i would practice run i've moved my tile away from my tripod it's balanced on another tile so i really don't know how that's going to work but i have some colors from yesterday and i want to practice I want to dry run before I start my gold canvas. So forgive me for teasing you. It wasn't intentional. I just forgot for a moment. And if I add enough colors to the colors I have from yesterday, this is a mica powder. This might not be a good idea, but it might not come out either. I got to remember to get a skewer ready. Okay, skewers, skewers on hand. Still not coming out. All right, I want some of that in there, so I am going to go ahead and use it. And then just pick another couple of my favorite colors, because like I said, this is a dry run. This is a wet dry run. <laughs> that is an Art Mines Mystique, and I am going to share it with a Folk Art Color Shift in turquoise. And I have a green. I want some orange though. This is my orange day. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad one, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And this time, I have to choose if I'm going to go ahead and put a background color on my canvas. So all the paint that I add to yesterday's paint will help revive it. That's my plan. And we're hoping it works. And every time I shoot some down into the colors, there's a very good chance that it is also creating cells. I want a little bit of this. So now we have all the colors of the rainbow except for the green I wanted to use a moment ago. And we're going to put some of that in there. And maybe some white and call it good. Maybe a little more purple. I kind of want to put a, a coating of paint on the background of the canvas, but if, I, if I'm not careful, I won't get what I want. So I've got three different containers, excuse me, three different scoops. One I made, and there's a video recently, and, and I'll help you if you need me to look for it for you. It just, um, it's probably listed under tools if you search in my videos. This was a pen container. This was a pen container. This is a pen container that I'm looking forward to using from the dollar store, that it has a double it has the pocket clips at the top, and when I trim that off, I expect to get double ribbons. So I'm kind of excited about that. In the meantime, I have to decide. I'm gonna use the container here as a rest. So if I wanna put paint in there, I can. And if I just wanna not have a mess, I can. So where is my white? So far, I've shaken this into my face twice now. <laughs> it's time to switch that paint to another bottle. I'm just that swift. So. It's kind of nice, my turntable is a little higher today because I stacked another, a tie, another tile on top of it, but I am being kind of lackadaisical about checking the level of it, but because the tile underneath it was supposed to be level, I'm hoping that it continues <laughs> to stay level. Um, I haven't added the scooped little bricks since, since I started to a wet background and it's time to find out what will happen before I use the gold canvas because that could be a problem. I'm going to start with the skinniest one and what do I want? I kind of want some more of something. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this um, this neon even though it probably won't come out. It's on white so that doubles my chances of it coming out. I'm going to scrape off my bottom. I'm going to start away from the center. Am I? Maybe I'm not. I thought I was going to be able to lay it down, but you know, 
as long as it's wet, I won't. I won't be able to. So where do I want to start? I want to start over here. And I don't think it, it's going to matter. As long as I can get a spiral down there, I'm good. And what I should really be thinking about. This is my dry run. This is my practice run. This is what I need to do now to, to not waste that uh, humongous gold gallery wrapped super expensive canvas behind me. Hmm. I keep wiping off my bottom. I, I got to admit I don't really have much problem with too much purple. Kind of makes me happy actually. Although I do want to put some more gold in there. And I want to see how how mucky yesterday's colors become. I might just do something different with this. I might just drag a skewer through it just because it's on a wet background and that sort of lends itself to that sort of experimentation. And I've done a bunch of them in the past. I, there are plenty of spirals. I, I don't know which set of hundreds they're in, but uh, I have organized my playlist by hundreds. I just keep scraping off the bottom and dripping on my canvas, which I'm hoping I can fix, <laughs> obviously. Hey guys, if you wouldn't swear while you're having a conversation and I'm recording, I'd appreciate it. So, now that's been said, I feel a little more sure that our upset friend is <laughs> going to respect your ears. And I'm going to continue on. And this is probably going to be the start. I'm going to try and, corp and incorporate that splooge. And I'm loving the way that's looking. Maybe I'll do nothing to it. Who knows? In any case, the scoop is working really nicely. And I'm trying really hard, if you can tell, to leave a good wide swath of white. And definitely, in theory, I could add all kinds of paint colors to this if I so desired. I could also tip it and it would become something else entirely. I'm going to switch my container around. And I'm really happy that the colors aren't getting more muddy. And I think I'm going to be looking for lumps because I think I just saw one fall. <laughs> and fortunately, I'm sort of getting to the end of my stream as I empty my container. Now that I've got a line over there, I can also fill in somewhat. And I could probably go back and add some other colors. And maybe I should add some colors right now to my container, like some turquoise and no more purple. <laughs> and maybe some pink and a little bit of orange. They're not pretty, but um, I bet they will be when they hit the painting. See? Turquoise, color shift, pink. Come on, scrape out of the bottom. I need blue, I think. So I'm going to give myself some blue. there too. And what else? I did not use very much gold and I think I could do that too right now. It's pretty warm out here right now so I'm hoping that I can keep this moving along. I'm going to let all of that fall down and hope I can scoop it up. I think red would have been good, a good choice. I don't think it matters if I make it wider as it reaches the outside. It's probably going to drip down the, over the edge. 
I talked about some white and then I didn't do it and I, maybe I should have. Come on, I've got lumps in the bottom of my pan. I guess I didn't clean it well enough. So I'm going to scrape those down and try and find a place that's lump free. And then use what I've got right there. Over, over and hopefully you can see everything. My tile is not in a normal position so it makes it kind of interesting. Um, I do have some colors on this edge. I kind of want to finish letting, letting them fold. Oops. <laughs> the good thing about lots of nice white paint that's staying wet in the background is it's still adjustable for a little while. I think I'm going to be touching up that edge and dragging that spiral right around. I am very tempted. Where's my green? I want some green in there. Some turquoise, rather. I got beautiful cells in the bottom. I don't use any silicone in my mixes. A lot of people aren't anymore. It's probably a good idea. And uh, I use GAC 800 by Golden when I first mix my acrylic paint in. The pouring recipe is below the video, by the way, in the middle of the description. Not too hard to find, in fact. Just going to let that all drip right down on the edge of the canvas so it covers it. There you go. Perfect. Pretty perfect, anyway. So what do I need? Anything? I might want some over here. I might want to mix some other stuff in here. I might want to cover that sort of bronzy brown. It's time to pull out a skewer. I hope you guys can see all this. I am going to try and torch. Don't I don't I'm a little nervous about bringing this this part of the spiral all the way to the edge because I think that'll be an issue. As in it will definitely widen the spiral and go down over. I want some more of that blue and some more of that turquoise right there. And I am going to widen this out over here. I'm going to take the chance. It needs to go there. Maybe another day is a better day to decide if there's going to be if there are going to be any radical changes. Because it would be really easy to um, to do all kinds of stuff to that, but I think it's pretty cool just like it is. So maybe I'll just leave it. And you guys got to see how I did that, so. The next one won't be anything like this because I will be leading my little scoop tool on uh, a dry canvas. Oh, we got love bugs. So I guess it's time to torch, even though it's pretty soon. And I used to drag tendrils out, but I don't really think that that's going to be helpful to me right now because I like what I've got. I might want to even up what I have. I might want to uneven up what I have, too make it look more organic. And I can just stick my skewer in very gently and see where it might need something. It didn't tilt, tilt anywhere. I am liking how this looks. The sun has found my foot. The sun changes, changes position as the seasons change, so now I've got a sunburn foot. How interesting is that? It's kind of late in the day for that, actually. All right, so I really want to move this over, but I'm really nervous about it going down too far. And maybe that means I'll fix that tomorrow. For right now, I think what that means to us is that I am going to go ahead and torch to release the bubbles in the paint. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I am going to try. I'm going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, one of the tools that is available on the Amazon link underneath Show More. And I'm going to make a few adjustments while I still can to my circ my spiral. And I was sure I had a place. And now I'm not so sure. I think that's the place. Where else? Right there, maybe. So I'm just going to dribble that right there. 
Let that widen right out. I used all my leftover paint and the paint I added to it, which is pretty cool. It could have had a lot more white in there, I think. I'm getting very brazen with that edge. I'm feeling like I'm going to suffer the consequences and have to cover that with white paint tomorrow. Yeah, it's already fallen over. Oh, well, never mind. I'll get that out of there. I'm not sure that the dots of color that are little spills are very important to remove or the drips. But that's pretty cool. I like it. This is going in the bucket. That's going in the bucket. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and uh, torch in a moment. we got two minutes left for me to tell you things that YouTube are changing, so I need to earn a living any way I can. And if you want to help me out do that, shop the Amazon link at No Hide It Cost to You. It really is a, an assistance to me. I have little bugs. And uh, it's, um, it's coming up to Christmas, so if you want to check out the clothing that I produced um, via help from Teespring underneath the video, there's some awesome stuff there. I showed you the leggings at the beginning. I am just sticking my fingers in and swatting love bugs off my legs. And I am going to do what I said I was going to do, even though I seem to be taking an awful long time to get to. Oh, I like the waggle. So I'm just running that skewer right, right around the center. Just giving it sort of a slightly ruffled edge. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link below show more, volume one. And hopefully by Christmas, maybe, if we're lucky and I'm industrious soon, uh, volume two. Well, I said I wasn't going to pull tendrils, but um, I did wind up waggling a little. Which doesn't really hurt my feelings, because I like it. I can widen that out there, and that's good. I can also use the bamboo skewer to go down over the edge. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio, saying, it used to be really important for me to get a thumbs up, and in, just in case it is, and you'd like to give me one, I'd really appreciate having it. If you watch more of the videos, there's a collection of them in by the hundreds in the genre. If you go to the end screens, you should find my channel, which will show you the playlists might also show you the, uh, the monthly drawing, the place where you can enter if you're a contributor to the studio and you want to help keep me painting. I really appreciate those of you who have in the past. It's a $10 minimum donation to, uh, to become entered in the contest. I've done spirals in the past. I think I might actually be getting a little better at them. So if you're looking for a Facebook group, we have a Facebook group, actually a couple of them. One is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. We're just learning to do pouring, and uh, it, there's a lot of good people there, and they're they're getting their chops together. They're definitely gaining skill, and it's nice. It's really fun to watch. Um, the other one is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for fans and collectors. Both of those are on Facebook, and I love you guys. There's over 80,000 of you. I'm going to clean up my tile in a minute, and uh, I'm I might wish that I had done something else to this, but right now I don't, because the patterns are great. I'm really careful. I should never stick my skewer in after I torch because it gums up the surface of the paint, but I seem to do it consistently anyway, so I recommend if you decide that you're going to do that, you be very cautious indeed. And I'm going to probably touch up my edges tomorrow with some white if I think I need to, where the spiral dripped over the edge. And other than that, I'm done. And this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying thank you for stopping, and I hope you stop again. Check out the end screens. There's a lot of videos there. I love you guys. Ooh, and that kind of worked okay. I might want to move it back that way so I can zoom in for you. Yeah, there we go. All right, you guys, take care. We'll see you soon. Hopefully tomorrow I post, I try and post every day, but there's no guarantee that's gonna go on forever unless I can figure something out. Um, I love you guys. Keep making wonderful comments. You make my day, you improve my mood, my mood remarkably. And I appreciate you endlessly. You have no idea how important that is to me. Thank you so much for being here and being my friends. Bye now. Priscilla out.